So today we're going to set up a super automated, easy media server. And a special thank you to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And a special thank you to my newest patron, Willie Woolridge. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron for the channel you love. So welcome to Technodad Life, and I'm Jeff. And so what we're going to be doing today is taking the most common media applications that need to access the internet and combine them so that they're all in one container under a VPN. So anytime you use those programs, they're automatically run through a VPN. So basically what I've done is created a stacks or a Docker compose file that you can just copy and then change the things that I'm about to uh, tell you about and then just paste that into Docker compose or stacks if you're using Portainer and then all the containers will line up and magic will happen. The skies will open up, the sun will come shining down and everything will work automatically. So the programs that we're going to be using are one, a VPN, radar, LiDAR, sonar, jacket, and then also a lazy librarian. So let's take a look at that. So here in the Docker Compose file, I've highlighted in red the things that need to be changed. But what I'll do is we'll go through each of these areas and explain what everything means so you can learn something too. So if anything goes wrong, you can also fix it. So here we have the first part of our compose file. This is the transmission open VPN. And so this is the container where all our other dockers are going to go through so that they're always encrypted and use a VPN. So the first thing we need is a data volume. And because this container that we're using is already a VPN with transmission, this is actually the downloads folder for transmission for this data. Next line is our local time. Then we need to change our PUID to 100 if we're using Open Media Vault. Create Twin Advice means basically that we're going to be creating a simple VPN tunnel. Next we need to put in our provider. And so if you're using NordVPN, you're going to have some different commands than the other one. I will leave a link to the uh, transmission VPN container or container maintainer who where you can find out what commands or what name you need to put in for your VPN provider. And to just give you a little preview, we're using the Hugene Docker dash transmission dash open VPN. And if we go down to documentation, then click on supported providers. You can see there's a bunch of supported providers. And since we're using NordVPN, we have to put in NordVPN like that. Since we're using NordVPN, we're going to comment out the open config defaults. So for NordVPN, we have to put in three lines, which if you're using a different VPN provider, you don't have to do. Uh, but in order for NordVPN to work, you have to do this. And so the first is NordVPN dash country equals your country. NordVPN category equals here is for peer to peer. And then NordVPN protocol. So next what we have to do is put in our username and password for our VPN. And you would put that here there in this line. If you're using NordVPN, there's a new suggested way of doing that. What you need to do is log into my.nordaccount.com. That will give you an encrypted username and password that then you can put in those two lines. This next line where it says open VPN ops, basically what this is doing is, so if you've lost your connection to your VPN, this will just try to reconnect. So we're not going to have a web proxy. And then here where it says local network, you need to put the IP range of your local network. And so here my IP is 192.168.8.0 slash 24. 
This next line, transmissions, create, pause, turns, enabled, equals false. What this line does is, if your turns are done downloading, then it shuts down. And then we added in Google DNS servers. This is suggested. I found that this did not work without those added in there for me. And then we're having some blogging files. So in this next area, you'll see lots of different ports. And so we have our ports for transmission, LiDAR, radar, sonar, and uh, lazy librarian. So that's what those are for. So what you'll see is we had to take them out of the Docker file down below of those different things, and we had to add them here in the VPN part of the container. Restart policy is always, and here is our Docker image. Now we're in the jacket section, and so here we're using the Linux server jacket, and network mode service colon transmission open VPN just means that we have to, this part of the Docker has to go through the VPN to work. Environmental variables, so again, change your PGID, your location. This container will automatically update. And then we need to have our app data folder for jacket, and then our downloads folder. This is the watch folder. So the watch folder is where you drop torrents, and then uh, transmission will then look for them. Next is radar, and you can see it's very similar. So for radar, we have three folders. We have our config folder, our movies folder where the files will be deposited, and then our downloads completed. So that's where radar will look for any movies. Next section is sonar, and again, almost exactly the same. The difference here is it goes to a TV folder. And then LiDAR, only difference here is it goes to a music fo folder. And then Lazy Librarian. So Lazy Librarian can connect to a Calibre folder. So if you already have Calibre set up, then it can access your database. And where it would do that is right here, Docker Mods, Linux Server, Calibre. And I have this commented out because I don't have that. And then we have our app data folder, our downloads folder, and our ebook folders. And then finally, restart unless stopped. So next we need to go to Portainer. We need to go to the stack session and start a new stack. So go to stacks and then add new stack. We're going to call this VPN. Simply copy the whole modified file that you have. Paste that in, and then scroll down and hit deploy. Now this is going to take some time because it's going to download six different Docker files. So time for a cup of coffee. So now it's done. And you probably drank a whole pot of coffee by this time. Now we're in stacks, and we can see we have a VPN stack now, because that's what I named my stack. If we go to containers, we can now see all our containers are running. For the transmission VPN, it might uh, stay red for a little while, or say starting up or something like that. And it just takes a few minutes to get going. So let's click on the piece of paper there. And we can see our VPN is up and running. And so now we're going to look at all the different containers that we just opened up. So copy your IP address. And the first one is going to be 9091. And that is transmission. And so transmission is up and running. Next is 7878, and that is radar. Then we have 8686, and that is LIDAR. 8989 is sonar. 9117 is jackets. 
And then 522 or 5299 is Lazy Librarian. So you can see the actual process of getting them all to work just takes a few minutes. Now we just have to adjust a few settings and then they will automatically auto magically do whatever you want. So first we'll see if transmission is working correctly. So we'll, we're going to add a file. And so we're going to go to Ubuntu, copy the link for the BitTurrent, paste that in, and upload. And here we can see after a few seconds that our BitTurrent server is working. So we can stop that. If we want to easily add turrets outside of our whole mega container that we're making here, there is an extension we can add to Chrome. And so it's called Transmission Easy Client. We just click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and then click on it. And we need to put in the IP address of our transmission. So just copy that. Paste that in there without the HTTP, TTP, then click Apply. And now let's do that same thing again. Let's go over here. We'll right click. And you can see now we have a add in transmission. So we click on that. And the cool thing is we can see this two different places. It's right there. And so now we have it in both different places if we don't have access to our server. And we can stop it in one, and it stops it in both. So next we need to go to Jackets. And so we need to add what are called indexers to Jacket so that it can actually find information. So I'll just show you how to do that. So in the top here, you click Add Indexer. And what I find easiest, if you click on Type, it will sort by Type. And we want the green type. There it is. So if we look at this area, you can see it's uh, organized by name, category, if it's public or private, and then language. So you should always pick out the language that is appropriate for you. And so I speak English, so I'm just going to pick this one, ETTV. And you click on the green button. Then the indexer ends up here. We'll pick one more. And we'll click on that. And so now we have two indexers added. And to test them, you can either press on test or you can press test all at the top. They're both working. So now the next part is we're going to move on to radar, then sonar, and lidar, and then lazy librarian, and get everything organized there. So with radar now, you can see that it has three warnings, but that's because we that's because we don't have a tracker or a download client added yet. So we're going to go to settings, go to indexers, click the plus sign, go down to Tours Nab Custom, type in Jacket, and then the API key is at the top of Jacket here, so we can just copy that. Paste that there. So now for the URL, we're going to click Custom Tours Nab Feed. Go back to Jacket. Paste that in there. Oh, and it didn't do it. And that's because there seems to be some glitch in Jacket. I can't get that to work, but we'll show you a different way to get it to work. So go back to Jacket. Click on Copy Tours Nab Feed next to one of your indexers. Go back to the URL section, paste that in. And what we're going to do is shorten this. So it has your IP address, torsnab, slash, all, and then slash. And so what this will do is check all the indexers that you have in Jacket. Then click Test. And if we look down in the bottom right, it says Testing Jacket Succeeded. And then click Save. Next, click on Download Client, the plus sign under Download Clients. Then click on Transmission. Give it the name Transmission. 
And then here we need our IP address. So we copy the IP address of transmission. And then we click test. And so here you can see not valid with HTTP. So we need to get rid of all the slashes and letters. We click test again. And down in the right corner, you can see it succeeded. Then we click save. And then we click save here again. Now we're going to go back to Portainer. And next to radar, we're going to put a little check mark. And then we're going to click restart. And then you can see across the top here, there's a line that goes across. That's done. We go back to radar and we refresh radar. And now if you look here, all the warnings are gone. So next let's do sonar, basically the exact same thing. Go to settings, indexers, add indexer, tours nab custom. So we're going to call this jacket. We need the same URL as we had from radar. So we'll just click on radar, copy the URL, paste that in, and same API key. Then we're going to click test. If we look down in the bottom right, it says jacket test succeeded. Then click save. Download clients. Click the plus. Click on transmission. Call this transmission. Copy our IP address again. Take out all the slashes and letters. And then click test. And it succeeded down in the bottom right. And then click save. And then click save. Now we're going to go back to Portainer. Put a check mark next to Sonar. Restart. Go back to Sonar. Refresh the page. And all our warnings have gone. Next is LiDAR. So go down to Settings. Indexers, plus, TorsNab, call that Jackets. Then we need the same URL. So we'll just copy that from Radar. And the same API key. Then we're going to click Test. And we got a check mark, so we're going to click Save there. And then download clients, plus on the download clients, scroll down to transmission, call this transmission, put in our IP address for transmission, get rid of the extras, and then click test. And we got the green check mark, so we're going to click save. And then we're going to go over to Portainer, click on LiDAR. Restart. Go back to LiDAR and then refresh the page. And it says we still have one error. Let's take a look. You're using Docker. And as far as I can tell, so this says, so this message is warning us about our path, but we mapped our path in our Docker container, so we don't have to worry about that. Next, we'll go to Lazy Librarian, click on Config. Click on Downloaders and then Transmission. Paste our transmission address in. And then it's port 9091. We don't have a username or a password. And then for our container, our path is Downloads. If we click on Test Transmission, Transmission Login Successful, and then we click Close. And so what we're going to look at is uh, changing the permissions just before before there are any problems. So, say you go to Radar and you try to add a folder for your movies to go into, and it says uh, permission not allowed for ABC. So what should you do? Go back to Portainer and go to Radar and then click on the Exec Console. Click Connect. 
Then type in change mode space dash capital R space small v space 777 slash movies. Then hit enter. And then that will change the uh, permissions for that file and then you should be able to use that file. Now for sonar you would do the same thing but you would put slash TV. For LiDAR same thing slash uh, music. And then for lazy librarian, same thing slash ebooks, if that's how you set it up. And so that will prevent the dreaded ABC user problem. And so that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any uh, ideas or any improvements to what we just did here, make sure you leave those down in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.